Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. You guys know I couldn't leave you hanging in the last video. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying before I was ever really interrupted, I have to keep the these servos facing the same way, these horn, the control horn facing the same way because of the fact I'm out of channels on my uh, radio. So I just have to keep the control horn facing the same way like that. That way I can put a wire harness on it. See if they was, you know, separate or opposite like this, they'd work out like ailerons with the wire harness. And we don't want that to happen, so we got to put them the same way. Now, I went ahead and mounted this servo while y'all was gone loafing. <laughs> getting you a soda, hitting that refrigerator, and I made a critical mistake. Okay, if we take our alignment stick, put that right there, there ain't enough room for that horn to go right there. So I thought about it for a minute, and I uh, thought the easy fix, bam, <laughs> turn that around that way, bam, alright, we're good to go. Now, uh, now that one, this one here, I'll do the same thing and I'll cut into that wood there. Now, where my pencil go? Line all that up with that arm. We want that straight. We want all this straight. Okay. Now, for these things to work correctly, remember our center line on our hinge point that went straight across. This point right here should be vert should be vertical with your hinge line. That's your row of hinges. Okay. So, we can see our metal shaft in there so we know about where that is. That's right there. So, this, not, not down here, this needs to be on our hinge line. That part right there. So just stand it up on top of it like there. And make our marks. Where to cut it. Now right here, uh, there's, I can't remember exactly where my wood stops, but I've got a plan, <coughs> just in case there ain't no wood in there. I'm going to fill her with glue. <laughs> I'm going to make a longer horn. I've already thought about this in advance because I was thinking about it on that side. Remember I set all these up for a different type of deal and... I just don't want to mess with that right now. So what I'll probably do is I'm going to extend this right here. This foot. Make me up another horn. Extend this foot to go plumb to the other side of the skin. Use my uh, 2108 resin in a, in a pastry tube. And cotton flock and get it really thick. Squirt it in there and put that deal in there. It will never go nowhere. That's my plan. And it works. I've done it before. <laughs>
afraid of, but we're going to fix that little issue. Okay, I need to make You know, the main thing with wine harnessing this stuff is we got to make sure these holes for our pins are exactly the same height because if we get one higher than the other, we'll get different travels. And that's, we don't want to go there. Scuff it up a little bit. You get that wax film off, old Ralph asked me if uh, 